Recently, I was strolling through a dealer auction when I stumbled across this 2002 Cadillac Escalade. It turned out to be a somewhat decent vehicle and I only paid $1,200 for it. And from there, I came up with the dumb idea of, hey, maybe we could turn this into like a 70s style K5 Blazer, kind of like a Ford Bronco out of an Escalade. Well, we did that already and it turned out to be somewhat of a success. I mean, it still runs, so that's a plus. Today's video, we're gonna strip this thing down and try to make it usable. I mean, we drove it to the gas station and back, but that's all we've done so far. Today, you're gonna join me to see if we can make this thing roadworthy. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. So this right here is my 2002 Cadillac Escalade. Now when these things came out originally, these were really, really great trucks and they still are. It comes with a six liter LQ9 V8 with a cast iron block, all aluminum heads, super, super reliable LS motor, actually more reliable than like the Camaros and convertibles. Well, I came up with the grand idea of trying to take the roof off to see if I can make this a summer tow vehicle. So far, it looks like I've destroyed this truck, but today we're gonna find out if we can actually make it usable. We're gonna fix some of the rust, we're gonna gut the interior, and I'm gonna use a truck bed coating on the exterior and the floors to see if we can make this thing presentable. I actually have some wheels to see if it's gonna change the look this dull faded matte black paint has got to go. So we're gonna try to bring this thing back to life and see if we can make it usable. Now here's what makes this thing so special. Number one, these are some of the best interiors GM has ever produced. They are extremely comfortable. So we're gonna get some neoprene waterproof seats because obviously we can't leave it on the elements and then let the seats just get destroyed more than they already are. But this right here is what makes this truck so special. That is a six liter LQ9. These weren't even available in like the Chevy 2500s because it came with aluminum heads. Now Vortec high output engineered exclusively for the Cadillac motor division. We have a cane and cold air intake and even an exhaust, but there's a couple other really cool things that I wanna show you. I just so happen to have a set of Cadillac Escalade 22 inch wheels, but that's not all. I also happen to have a set of 20 inch Chevy wheels with tires and another set of Cadillac 22s with brand new tires. So we're gonna try them out to see if it improves the look, but that's gonna be after we make this thing presentable, but wait, there's more, there's something else that I wanna show you. This is the old roof. This is a rack that came off a Jeep Wrangler that I purchased a few months ago. I've been saving it because I've wanted to do this project for quite some time. So once we get this thing cleaned up and usable, I'm curious to see if we can actually put a rack as like a roll bar inside of this thing. Another question I have is what to do with these windows. They're safety windows so they don't go down all the way. Now do I remove them completely? They're not on bump stops. This is as low as they will actually go. So we're gonna figure that out too. If you've ever thought about doing this to a vehicle, you're gonna see all the bumps and bruises along the way because we're finding them out as we go up. I've never done anything like this. I've never done any research. We're just figuring it out. So this could be an absolute disaster or it could be a really cool success. Let's start tearing this thing apart. Before we even dig into this project, someone has already come up with a great idea. You wanna explain this? Yeah, I was thinking of all these sharp edges, these burrs, grind them down so they're not there. Take this, see if we can Oh, I love it. Turn it over with a little bit. I Same love thing. it. I wonder if we can pinch him. I love it, Dave. Thank you for the idea. Don't cut your hand. No. HVAC box, these are coolant lines. So, shoot. I'm gonna have to keep that whole thing there and just put the plastic back on, I think. Yep, gonna have to. This looks really good. I guess that's what happens when you work quite a few years on a dirt truck stock car. It came out really nice. It helps this was the straight line too. Yeah. All right, according to my calculations, I should just pull right out.
I'm done for the day. And I am filthy and I'm tired, exhausted, whatever. But look at how nice this came out. Like just the interior all day. So no carpet, the Rhino liner, the, the truck bed is drying. That's why it looks patchy. Tomorrow I'll figure out how to get this plastic to attach better. But the plastics actually finished it up pretty well. And then the center came out pretty good. I left all the extra trim in there for now, but they all mounted in perfectly. The floors look great. I cleaned the leather. You'll see that I actually put the Cadillac trim back on, which person I think finishes it up nicely. Same here. So you'll see here, I didn't scrape that up. I ran out of time. So tomorrow I'll scrape that up. And these go to the back of this seat. I couldn't find the holes. So tomorrow I'll figure that out as well. Cleaned everything up. Power seats work again. I did not reconnect the side airbags because I don't need airbags going off on us because who knows what could happen at any point. I have a bunch of extra hardware here. They don't remember where it goes either. Tomorrow I'll scrape the floors and I'll figure out what to do up there and what to do right there. But this, just from a heavy pounding, it's not jagged anymore because it was grinded down, ground down, grinded down. And then we hammered it with a sledge, this one a lot lower than I'd like it to be. But tomorrow I can figure out what to do with this. And last, we're gonna do wheels and exterior and then use this thing. Oh, I have to get seat belts for the back. I'm gonna put the third row in now. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get waterproof seat covers. But I'm thinking I might get, like if you remember in the 80s and the 90s, the trucks used to have the netting that one right here instead of the tailgate. I might get the netting. I think it'll be a lot easier than trying to rig up a tailgate for it. What do you guys think? And there we go with the third row seat folded up. We have that much space. So we still have truck beds worth of space even with the seats folded up and they're easily removable. Pretty cool. All right, we got the third row seat in and luckily the third row seat actually has its own seat belts, which is great. We got the, the hatch bolted in at the bottom, but it's still loose. So we're gonna cut this off and figure out how to connect the hatch. Check this out. I took the weather stripping off the roof. It's covering the edge of all the metal. For now, I put some weather stripping here on both sides to keep the squeaking down or the clunking. And uh, we're just gonna bolt it in place until I can find some latches and stuff for it. Well, let's go for a true maiden voyage. We're gonna take this sucker out and see how it is on the road. We're gonna go to Home Depot and see how we can fill all these channels and gaps, what we're gonna use. It looks like it's starting to rain. So yes, it's actually starting to shoot 10 seconds later it is about to pour on us it is downpouring i don't know how i'm staying dry right now it it is coming down pretty good now luckily i have wipers didn't even make it a day literally first day out and it's raining on me take it to the gym let's see my wife's reaction this morning oh we already got a jeep stopped <laughs> hey how you doing good. what do you think Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Look at all the cars with the attention. So come check this thing out real quick. This is our new summer vehicle up north. Ooh, you look good. I like that outfit. Now you're on the internet and not looking hot. This is pretty cool. Just watch wow. your hands on the edge. Hop in real quick. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it in the light yet because I pulled it right out of the garage. So now, is it done? Is there anything no, else you no, have to do? No, no, it's far from done. What do you have to do next? Make it not sharp and jagged. So this is like, if it rains, you're screwed. There's no cover. Correct, yes. <laughs> Well, she is taped off and ready for undercoating. We washed it, we gave it a quick scuff. I don't know what to do about these windows. Do we leave the windows up? Do we leave the windows down? I don't want to get overspray on the interior. So I'm not quite sure what to do now. time I get a new car in but in my state I can't have front window tents so I have to tear this off so this is what I have to do I'm only halfway done though still got to do the other side let's see if we can get it off in one piece that was the easy part now I have to remove the glue We 
have been fortunate enough that it's heat wave and we haven't had any rain. I have to figure out where the water is going to go. So today is the water test. We're going to figure out where the water is puddling and then tap some holes so it drains. So I'm just going to soak it because eventually it's going to be out in the elements. Let's figure out where this water is going. We already have a couple obvious areas right here. Here we go. A couple more and we should be all set. We have water draining back here. Let's find where it's going to back here. Yep. The front is draining, so we're good there. Okay, all the spots are vacuumed and dried. And now, think about it, that's where they're draining water. So water, moisture, moisture, rust. So I'm gonna touch up all the spots that we drilled with truck bed coating. That way it seals the metal. I'm not worrying about all those holes rotting out later on down the road. So the next day, I came back, it's wheel and tire day. I have some 22 inch Cadillac Escalade wheels that we're gonna throw on it to see how it looks. But I have to say, painting the original wheel silver looks damn good and they have great tires on them. But I have 22s and I just wanna see what it looks like. The other thing, I jacked it up on the lift just to see what it would look like if it had like a two and a half inch lift kit. It looks freaking cool lifted up. So hopefully it looks good lifted with the wheel. Like the wheels should lift it a little too. So we'll see what it looks like then. As you can see, this truck's about to get a facelift. I mean, these wheels are literally brand new with brand new tires mounted and balanced. They honestly cost me twice as much as this entire project put together. Okay, so we had some rust to repair down here. So simple, took some sheet metal, took some silicone, sealed around it, and now we're going to, same thing, truck bed it, easy, easy repair. I'm trying to keep our cost to a minimum. Yes, we could have welded new panels, we could have cut metal out, done it the right way. This is a very inexpensive truck. We're keeping all of our costs down and trying to get it done in under a week. So that's why we did this, which is still gonna be completely legal in my state, and presentable when we're finished. Now here's the piece de la resistance center caps are on the car. Is I mean, for now, there's still a lot of work to be had, but it's drivable. We have come to the consensus that it doesn't fit the way it is. There's gonna be some fabrication needed here. Guess what we get to drive, Taryn? I got you another Escalade. Awesome. And this one has just as much space as the limo. Check this thing out. This is what your boy worked so hard on yesterday. Hardest he's ever worked. Let me see again. Look at it. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, I like how it's shiny. It is shiny, right? Like, it almost looks metallic. Check out wow. those shoes. That's crazy. That came out really good. Wow, thank you for that. Now we're off to the pool party in our convertible. Quick honorable mention to my California one owner, Honda Prelude. 97 Eagle Talon TSI and 90 Talon TSI that just sit, they never get driven. Well, that one gets driven actually quite a bit. How good looking my wife is in her beach wear. Lucky guy, I'm a lucky guy. Look at her rims, look at that, how'd that get there? Another thing that just showed up mysteriously, how did this get there? All the way down her car. Watch this, ready? Whoa, LQ9, six liter V8. Top that Bronco, six cylinder baby engine. The other thing that's cool too, this, Still works. Everything in this truck still works with the electronics. Ignore my crotch. Does my phone work? charges. The AC works. Yes, Wait, the AC works. AC? Check out this. Ready? Boom. Some copywritten music. Nice this isn't copyright. Look at this. I made this song. Tell my wife. Nice booty. Nice booty. Wait for the pickup. are just chatting. This is the best convertible I've ever owned. Because convertibles are like, they're cars, they're a little tight and rough. Jeep Wranglers, they all ride like shit. This thing rides like a Cadillac. It's very smooth. It's beefy and super, super comfortable. Aren't these seats amazingly comfortable yeah. using the armrest? You're not even using the armrest. Put that down. Check that out. Wow. It's the best part of these cars. It's nice. Yeah. I love this thing. I found a problem. I accidentally painted the gas door shut. I can't open the gas door, Taryn. <laughs> Yeah. I got it. It's literally 98 degrees today. I'm going 65 miles an hour. The cruise control is set. People are staring at me. Every, every time somebody passes me, they give me a thumbs up. Like this truck right here. Ready? I love this car. I'm having so much fun with it. So this 
Everything rides like a dream. I literally have the AC blowing on me from the front, the wind blowing in my hair, the windows open. It drives like a Cadillac convertible, and right now I'm loving it. And I have to go to a party now where I'm gonna pick up people. I am literally the like carpool for a surprise birthday where I'm carting people back and forth and this is what I'm gonna pick them up in and I'm so excited for it. Oh, another thing that I didn't even think about, I went to do the inspection sticker, it's over 20 years old. So there's no emissions on this vehicle, which it passes anyway, there's no check engine lights and it has catalytic converters and everything, but it's emissions exempt, which is really, really cool. I didn't even think that this being a 2002, it was 20 years ago, that is just wild. So this is what's amazing oh, yeah. about this truck is that I've literally never sat in the middle oh, row. You guys were highly recommended no, to sit in the back row because right. you get to experience yeah. the whole thing. I wonder if these rear heated seats work. Oh, Cup up. holders, so right the there. Side. Yes, exhaust on oh, yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds phenomenal. It sounds phenomenal. This is my first ride in the back seat. Let's do the armrest. Ready? Look at this armrest, Aaron. There's storage in here, too. Someone's hair was getting ruined, so we had to swap seats. Which I. I will say that it was convenient with no roof. What are you, you an actor? You're good at reenacting you scenes? Could, you could have never done Well done. All right, today's the day. The Escamino was able to tow the boat, so that's a good thing. Now let's go in the water. While we're at it, who remembers these things? Wet bikes. Beautiful night, and look at the view behind us. This is why I cut the roof off this truck. For this drive right now. All right, our first drive-in movie theater with the Cadillac El Camino-ish thing. Here's the other reason I did this. No roof, filled with trash. Couldn't fit all this stuff in my wife's truck. Cut the roof off, now we can fit as much as we need to. In here, go to the dump. Let's cut the roof off of a Cadillac. It'd be awesome until it rains, and then it's not awesome anymore. Okay, so this truck is an absolute success. I mean, look at I got bicycles in the back of it. You can see we're up at our house up north, which is finished. I'll do a video on that soon. My boat, that was a disaster from Florida. But that truck is amazing. Check this out. I'm going to do a full walk around of this car because it came out so incredible because I polished the headlights. I polished the taillights. We got our wheels on. We got our like truck bed coating. We got our seat covers. This car has been incredible up north and at the lake. And it's great at towing the boat. $1,200 for the truck. I have like two grand into wheels and then just some time and some sawzall blades and some like zip tape for the oh I didn't show you that here so to like save all those jagged edges I use zip tape like uh, ice and water shield on everything so it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there but not really I don't know and then I put the plastics back on I'll do a full walk around of this truck for now that's enough for today's video I am up north we're going to the lake in our truck I love this thing all right next video I'll do a full walk around for you guys because this is the best car I've ever owned I'll see you later thanks for watching have a great day Adios. Thank you.